Hi, I'm Diana Pinellas from DW and I'm going to show you five things you should do on the Faroe Island. The Faroe Islands are located between Norway, Iceland and Scotland. The archipelago with these 18 islands is an autonomous territory within the Kingdom of Denmark. Fishing and tourism are the two major industries here. My first tip is the Mulafasu waterfall. This is one of the main attractions on the island. From here, if you are lucky, you get to see also a small puffin there. The islands are well known because of the abundant variety of bird life. The location of the islands is also really important because it's so isolated that many, many birds come here on summer to breathe. On the island, there are around 100 different species. Check out, this waterfall is over 30 meters high and it goes directly into the North Atlantic Ocean. There are three ways to come here, by helicopter, going up on the mountain or through a tunnel. So after Mulafasur, we are driving now to Saxun, and as you can see, the weather is changing a lot, and the people here, they say that uh, this is the land of maybe, because maybe it's going to rain, maybe it's going to be sunny, you never know. The Faroe Islands are also known for their many sheep. Around 70,000 sheep live here, compared to only 50,000 people. My tip number two is Saxon, one of the most distinctive villages on the Faroe Islands. It is a really special place because you get to see how rural life was in the past. And here, where we are right now, only one person is living in this area. If you love nature, I totally recommend you to come here. The view is fantastic and the houses behind me, they are also part of a heritage museum. And now it's really windy as you can see, but from here I wanted to show you these houses there which are also part of the village and there we have a church uh, built in 1858. I am now on my way to my tip number three, which is located in the largest city of the Faroe Islands. We are now in the capital of the Faroe, Toshvam. 20% of the population live here, that means around 90,000 people. Behind me, you can see Tinganes, the old historical location of the Faroe government. And if we go to the other side, we can see the old district. Let's take a look. Welcome to Rain. Here, this is the oldest part of the city. And one of the coolest things is that every house has their own name. And also, there are many, many narrow streets. Many of the houses on Tinganes were built between 16th and 17th century, and they are still in use today. And this part that you see with the rocks is said to be one of the oldest parliamentary meeting places in the world, around year 900. My next stop is located in the north of Streymoy, which is one of the most popular islands of the Faroe. Chetnovik is my tip number four. I'm taking you to that village over there. The road is a bit narrow, but the views and the landscape are amazing. Only 70 people live in this beautiful village. Cheknovik is also one of the places where you can see the famous sea stacks of the Faroe, the giant and the witch, which are 70 meters high. 
now is empty, but this place is one of the most popular surfing spots in the Faroe. And as you can see, there is only one road to come here, and this road ends in the village. What better way to finish our adventure than with some local food? I am on my way to probably the most remote Michelin star restaurant in the world. Cox, a two-star restaurant, it's my tip number five. Here, they use different techniques, salting, drying, smoking, and also fermentation. Today, I'm going to try for the first time fermented lamp. It's really, really intense. Recommended. I'm going to try fermented uh, fish, which also comes with a really delicious potato puree. And as a dessert, I'm getting flan with blueberries. I hope that you enjoyed these five tips of the Faroe Islands. Of course, there are many, many things to do here, but now I can leave you with this beautiful view.